What is going on, guys? It is 10.30. It's an hour after market open. And surprisingly enough, it is a year or a little bit over a year since I had started investing. So I left the videos alone on this account for a while because I wanted it to kind of grow. And I got really serious with it for a while. So I've been putting basically $50 a week, maybe a little bit more some weeks into this account and it's more mainly been a, a dividend account i mean it's my only account that i'm really using right now so i'm using it uh for a little bit of both with a uh, speculative and um or growth stocks and dividend stocks but it's mainly my dividend stocks so uh i wanted to first say that i'm no way shape or form a financial advisor and i'm not anybody to give advice on the stock market so don't take no advice from me this video is strictly just a, uh more for me to track my what i'm doing and for other people maybe to see it and get into robin hood if you want to get into robin hood there is a link in my description that right now they're offering three free stocks and that is for you and for me if you use my link that's after you uh put in a hundred dollars in there three free stocks is great especially if they give you some dividend paying stocks because then you could just hold it put your drip on and let it keep growing snowball effect so all time since march 21st 2020 i am up one thousand one hundred ninety eight dollars and sixty cents which is twenty eight point thirty eight percent on the year, I'm up $1,185. Three months, $348. One month, $131. One week, I'm down $20. And one day, I'm down $17. And in the past hour, I'm down $5.11. Which is actually good for me. To me, this is... My stocks are on sale, and I definitely want to start um, buying in these dips. This is the perfect time for me to buy. Before we check out what stocks I actually have, let's check out my overall... ...review. So, I have a... Basically, all of this is stocks. 88% um, stock, 11% ETFs, and uh, less than 1% of, or a little bit more than 1%. No, less than one, less than 1% 1 of um, crypto. So I'm 39% invested into consumer goods, 22% invested into finance, 15% into tech and media. 8% into healthcare, 7% into manufacturing materials, 4% into hospitality, 3% into business, and 2% into energy and water. We also want to go, and I want to show you guys my... Um, my dividend snowball so basically so the first month i started march 31st 2020 the only thing we're paying attention here is the dividends so there i had zero dividends in that period so we'll check with the next month April 30th, we had six cents. So then we'll go and we'll move up one, two, three, four. So we'll go to like halfway through the year to July. And in July, I had $1.73 paid to me in dividends. 
After July, we'll go skip to December. But we'll skip to October. So by October, we had a total of $3.91 in dividends paid out to me. So by the whole end of the term, December, at the end of the year, December 2020, let's see how many, how much money that dividend snowball ended up occurring me. So for the whole year, I had made $26.19. But you see how every couple months, it just got bigger and bigger. It compiled, it compounded, that snowball growed. And it doesn't seem like it's as fast as people would think. But for me, that's actually pretty fast. And also, they started paying out interest. But usually, when I put money into here, I spend it straight on the stock. So I'm carrying, like, what, a penny of interest, which is fine with me, though. I'll take any money I can get. Then, January, the next month for the new year, I had already made $2.76 in dividends. March 31st, I made $10.49 in dividends. So already, in the first three months of this year, I'm at $17.50. That's almost, what, three quarters of what I made the whole last year in dividends. So if you use this dividend investing with the Robinhood, it does grow and grow and grow. Here we have our pending dividends. So let's see what, what um what companies are paying me that I haven't shown because we don't know. So what po companies are paying me in April and May? Let's see. So we'll start with April 1st. SPHD paid me 39 cents. SPHD pays me every month. Every single month I get a payment from them. And every single month I have that payment reinvested back into them and so that dividend gets just a little bit bigger every single time coca-cola as well they pay me three dollars and 53 cents agnc pays me one dollar and 21 cents oh another monthly dividend paying stock and i believe agnc is as well so like i said i target a lot of mainly um Monthly dividend, I mean, mainly dividend paying stocks and good pay, dividend paying stocks. IVR pay me 27 cents, two pay me 85 cents, NRZ pay me three dollars and 62 cents. And this is all well, they're going to pay me General Mills, that's the cereal company. 53 cents and AT&T the cell phone company three dollars and seventeen cents So let's see what companies I've have invested now a year later Arc is a space exploration and in innovation ETF they do not I, I bought this I think the day that they uh, they launched on Robinhood and um I bought it. It's just a growth ETF. It doesn't. It doesn't pay a dividend at all. SLV purely speculative. Just figured to have one. I think I still. I had SLV a year ago too, but then I had bo uh, sold it, and then I had bought it again because I had s heard some stuff going on about Reddit and SLV. So I had figured, eh, why not go ahead. We have uh, SAVE, which is the airline, Spirit Airlines. I got them uh, in the beginning of the pandemic. American Airlines as well. Boeing. ExxonMobil. Which soon 
with uh, everything that's going on, I'm pretty sure I might eventually end up selling out of this, but I'm watching it very closely. I'm one of those people who check my, my portfolio every day just to see what's going on. But that's how I take advantage of days. Uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, I bought that down when it was pretty, pretty cheap. And... And I'm still just holding on to it because I want it to hit that that 52 week. Well, not that 52 week high. I want it to go back up to right here at 133. That's all time high. I want to see it get that up high. I got IVR. These are all just different uh, REITs and and um, real estate spots right here. And these are all that the ones that don't pay uh, monthly. Or other ones are ETFs, so this is like just like my good dividend paying spot section right here, and uh, that's a uh, IVR. I don't mo know much about the company, that's why I only have three shares. I just like that little dividend that they pay me for those three shares, so I just hold on to it. Two Harbors is investments. I believe they are also a uh, re or um. Or they they lease co they lease land to somebody mortgaging company see mortgage backed securities and financial assets so I've had them for quite a while I think I this is one of the ones that I had gotten for free and then I liked the dividends so I just bought a couple more um, NRZ I have which is new residential investment this is one of my favorite. Um, REITs, they, uh, they pay a really good dividend, and they're at a dip right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put $10 in there right now, and this is me dollar cost averaging, like, I put money in this section, like, you're going to see me probably put money in all of these ones right now, I put money in this section, Every week, no matter what the market's looking like, because a dollar cost average, I put a little bit of money in each stocks here and there, and keep the um the drip on so it just snowballs. So there we go, ten dollars gets me almost a full share of NRZ. So we put that, and there we go. And now my dividend will go up even more the next time it comes. Vanguard. S&P 500 ETF, this is one that I've been trying to work on pretty good. And since I don't have a full share of there, this one, I'm going to go ahead and put $10 in here. And VOO, they pay a pretty good dividend as well. But I have, I just bought this one last last week, I think. So, like I said, I just keep keep looking for more ways to broaden my portfolio. A lot of people might say I have way too many stocks, but I'd rather I I I like to have multiple different things. It makes me feel safer. Um, so VYM. There's another Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. This one's at a 3.04 dividend per year. This one as well, I'm going to go ahead and put $10. Iron Mountain. This one, I believe, is a paper storing company or a file storing company. Storage of information management solutions. It operates as the following. So, yep, they also pay a dividend. This one, I'm not very serious about getting too far. I'm going to only put $5 in here because I believe it might go into the negatives later on today. And if it does that, then I'll put more. Mm -hmm. 
SPY. That's another one. It's down. So I'm going to go ahead and put... This is the Spider S&P 500 ETF. I'm going to put $5 in this one as well because I still believe that that one might as well go into the negatives today. SPYD. I've had this one for a while. Like I said, that's one of the... It's a good... Uh, I think this one only pays every three months, though, but I like their dividend. This one's in the green. So when something's in the green, I like to put probably... Like when I'm starting to get low on money and there's still a lot more stocks to go... This is when I'm going to just put $2 in there. And just that $2 will raise my dividend. I have Hero, which is a new one I bought. And this one is a uh, video game. Yeah, video games and esports ETF. Global X Funds, they pay a dividend as well. It's a smaller dividend. But this one's a relatively new stock see January 2020 so or a new ETF and I believe the video game sector is going to soar Johnson and Johnson so this is my section of uh, healthcare stocks I have Johnson and Johnson I sold out of Moderna when it got up there at like $130 and it still went up to like 180 but I'm glad I got out at the time I did because I used that money to spend it on more uh, dividend paying stocks. Um, TXMD, uh, that one's in the negative, but I'm just watching it. If it goes to negative $10, I might sell out. But this one is, uh, I think one of their pills just got actually um, approved. And they take care of like the whole woman health thing, like uh, all their woman needs. And they take care of those as you grow older. You got Pfizer, 3.59 shares. They pay a dividend as well. And, of course, everybody knows they're making the vaccines for people as well as Johnson & Johnson. And then here is my, uh, like, parks or um, theme parks. And uh, PK, I believe, they're the ones who just do all the cleaning and all that stuff for everything. Resort Operation Real Estate Investment Trust, which owns, operates, so they own and operate hotels and resorts. So they're sim similar to me in, as, like, theme parks and stuff like that with the resorts. Um, that's been doing well for me. I bought that a while ago. I have Disney, two shares. I have uh, Six Flags, one share. Hormel. That's in the negative, so I'm going to go ahead and put $5 into Hormel. I'm not very bullish on Hormel. I think it's going to stay like it stays, and it's been staying at steady price, so I'm not putting a lot of money into it there. But when it's negative, of course, I'll always put some more money into there, unless something's wrong with the company I see. This is uh, General Mills. That's the cereal company. They pay a dividend. I showed you we have that pending coming in on May 3rd. They pay a dividend yield of 3.326. All the kids going back to school, so that cereal price hopefully will go up. Coca-Cola, I have uh, 8.41 shares. Pepsi. Um, this happened when uh, the soup right around the Super Bowl, both Pepsi and Coca Cola had like drastic declines. So I bought some up. I bought, 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 bought. I ended up finally getting a whole share of uh, this was Budweiser is 1.33 shares, but I finally ended up getting a whole share of uh, waste management, which I'm happy for because they pay a good dividend yield and. Trash not going anywhere, and look at just the returns from five years is up 132%. So can't go wrong. Uh, that's Citibank. 
Bank of America. O. I love O. That is monthly real estate income. They're uh, they're my mo monthly re paying REIT. I'm very uh very bullish on them right now because I'm trying to get up to a hundred shares of uh, all of my high dividend paying REITs. So they're in the red. So I'm gonna go ahead and put. I'm putting a whole ten dollars into O. Just because they're on a lot more of the pricier side. And I don't see them going negative for me anytime soon. So when they're in the red, that is a goal for me to buy. PEY, that is, uh, I believe they're monthly paying dividend stock as well. They're in the green. So I'm going to go ahead and buy $2 worth. Well, this one's my, sorry, monthly paying stocks. I'm putting $5 in, not quarterly. So this is a monthly paying so I put five dollars in. AGNC monthly paying. They're up. See how mostly they're on the steady incline, incline, incline. They're all time high before the pandemic was around nineteen dollars. They're at seventeen dollars now. I'm going to go ahead and put another $10 in here because they have a hefty dividend. SPHD, another monthly paying uh, divid, uh, ETF, and they're uh, based off the S&P 500. Two dollars. Just because I do believe that this will go down more today. Uh, if you look at the vanguards, this one I expect to go down more. AT&T, they were negative for a while, so I went ahead and bought up some shares. I have 6.1 shares now. There's $183 worth of AT&T. IBM, the computer company, they're in the red, and I don't have a full share of them, so we're going to go ahead and put a whole $5 in there. And I see, you see I have a lot more money in there, but I'm not going to spend it all right now. I'm going to leave it in there and watch the rest of the week, because this is my money that's in there for this week. And the rest of the week, I'm going to keep watching it and see... If it goes down, I might buy more tomorrow, I might buy more later on today, but I have to watch the opportunities and wait to see when's the best time to get into some of these companies. Got Apple. Apple, I'm at 0.60 shares. Microsoft. Always rising. Two dollars in there. Tesla. Tesla's been crazy lately. Bipolar, bipolar, bipolar Tesla. Two dollars. And this is just dollar cost average, you guys. I do this every single week and I keep the drip on. If you don't know what drip is, that's dividend reinvestment. And that's how you just set it, forget it, and watch your stuff grow. Let it grow. Look at my account just after one year. Procter & Gamble. Activision, Blizzard, this is a video game company that I believe yeah, they actually do pay a dividend. And they're one of the very few. Uh, I had Sony and I was so upset that I sold Sony when they got high. And uh, I was up like, I want to say $60, I believe. And I sold out. In like a frantic and belief that it was going to go down. And 
I shouldn't have, I knew better. Amazon as well. I had a lot more than this of Amazon, but I had sold when it was being very crazy. But then I had started buying back in when I heard about them sell sending uh, like prescriptions and stuff to the mail or something like that. So I definitely got more bullish on Amazon again. So that's how we got back to here. And the fact that Amazon doesn't pay a dividend and it's so expensive. DraftKings is in, oh well we're skipping one hold on we have a uh, AMD right here they are the comp another computer company they make computer chips they don't pay a dividend but this is purely a uh, growth stock and I put five dollars at the AMD and now we have we have a stock in the negatives. This is DraftKings, and I knew I got in too late anyways, but this is not a time to sell. This is a time to buy. The average cost is $60, and the price right now is at $58.79. This is a company, they don't pay a dividend stock, but this is a, uh, they do the online gambling and sports gambling, I think. So that is definitely something to uh like to put your money in to see it grow and see how that does so i'm gonna go ahead and buy some money on that i'm gonna go ahead and buy ten dollars and see if it keeps going negative if it keeps going negative i'm gonna put more money in there so you see how that brought my average cost down and that's how you get your um portfolio to not be in the negatives And American Water, very bullish on this one. Trying to get my money in there now. I just bought this last week, but it's kind of like the uh, situation with waste management. You're always going to need water. Over the past five years, you're up 115%. Um, yeah, I feel like I can't go wrong putting my money into this stock. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a good another $10. Stag, this one is a, uh, this is another dividend paying stock, and I heard about this one from YouTube, so I don't want to really talk much about it, I'll just read what they say here, it says Stag Industrial Inc. is a real estate investment trust which focuses on acquisition, ownership, and operation of single tenant industrial properties throughout the United States, so it, so it seems like they do, um, uh, like apartment apartments but uh they pay a good dividend it looks like so i wanted to get another dividend paying thing into my portfolio and i wanted to get a lot of ets and reits because i feel like um even though reits can be pretty sketchy i feel like it's the best thing for me to do right now to get this portfolio kick started I'm trying to wait for it to go negative again. Put ten dollars in there for now. The reason why I still have that down there is because um I'm waiting for um to see how often it pays its dividend. And once I see how often it pays its dividend, then I will um move it to wherever it needs to go because I have two different sections as you saw then last but not least I wanted to show you guys this Nokia I'm going to be making a position into Nokia um, 
I've heard a lot of good news about Nokia, Nokia and also LG. If LG is dropping out of the cell phone business, then I'm definitely going to want to get into Nokia because this is might be a strong spot for them to gain some momentum. So I'm going to go ahead and put, well, since it's cheap, I'm going to go ahead and buy shares. And I'm going to buy four shares of Nokia. Nope, I'll buy five shares of Nokia. For twenty dollars and forty-five cents, and we're gonna swipe up. Done. Nokia doesn't pay a dividend, but we're gonna see if this grows as a growth stock. And we're gonna go ahead and put this right here next to AT&T, and that's how I like to keep all my stocks in little sections so I know what's going on. Usually down here is just a lot of stuff that isn't I don't have a full share of, so that's like my stuff that I'm trying to get get to. And then Dogecoin. Look at Dogecoin. Let's see this emotional roller coaster I've been on with Dogecoin. So with Dogecoin, I had gotten into Dogecoin the first time. I spent like 20 cents. Look. And I bought it at 96 Dogecoin at 0 0.002075 cents. I had bought Dogecoin at less than a penny and I had bought more at less than a penny and then I sold it when it went up to point zero zero three why I did that I don't know I should have never did that please tell me that I'm not the only one who has done that so then I bought more, and I bought more, and bought more, and then I sold it at point zero zero three, And I should have just kept all of that, because I kept selling. And then now, I have, I've had to get back in at where it's at five cents. So I've been back in at where it's at five cents, and now it's up to seven cents. So, see, my market buy has been at 0 0.05 and I've only been buying when it's been in the negative but I have to stick with Dogecoin because I've seen it go from if I would have just stuck with my money from 0 0.002 and kept it till now man I would have been a happy happy camper but that's it guys there is my Robinhood account if you guys like don't forget Sign up with Robinhood with my link in the description, and you can get three free stocks, and I can get three free stocks after you deposit $100, and get yourself a good dividend-paying stock. Get yourself $100 worth of Coca-Cola, man. You can't go wrong with Coca-Cola. And um, watch that dividend grow. Look at that. In one year. That's like a whole nother tax return. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe.